All right, howdy. Uh, so tonight, I'm going to show you something I will bet a lot of you have never seen. This is... a Betamax cassette. This is from the Stone Age of Videotape. This is a Sony Super Betamax video recorder player. This is actually from the late 80s, or early 90s, I don't know which. Um, but in addition to being really hard to find video rentals for when you went to the Blockbuster, it was also used really briefly for an unusual purpose. So, way back in the early 90s, um, if you went to a studio and you recorded a tape, chances are the master was sent out on something like that. It would have been a quarter inch, 15 IPS video or audio tape, stereo, right? That machine is a half track, which means that it is two tracks, one direction only. So it's a really high quality tape for audio tape. Um, but back in the 90s, what everybody wanted to do was they wanted to switch to digital and use machines like this Panasonic down here, that Otari over there in the bottom of the rack. So uh, not everybody could afford those. and before these came out and were really popular, studios started wanting to put out digital masters. So what you had, Sony came along with something called the PCM F1, which is a really arcane little machine that you probably have never seen. You might not have ever seen this thing, but you sure have never seen this, this one. This is actually meant to be battery powered, or if you're really lucky, you have an AC power supply for it that plugs in the back. Now what you did was this thing would accept the input from your mixer to master down to stereo. So it has audio left and right ends. RCAs, nothing fancy, but they work. Then what it would do is it would send video out to this thing. And these machines, this one is a stereo, but at the time, most of them were not. And people would actually record a digital master copy, or in this case, a safety copy to a Betamax cassette. And you're saying, how does that work? Because those machines weren't stereo and isn't video terrible quality? Well, yes, it is. And I used to hear people telling me all the time that they were recording to the audio inputs of VHS and beta machines, and they were using those as mastering. Well, that's not a very good audio quality. It's not really any better than cassette. Uh, and it's certainly not better than one of these machines at 15 IPS, well tuned up. So if, however, you had this thing, what this did was this takes line in audio left and right and it does what we call muxing into a signal that is fed to the video track of this machine not the audio tracks because again the audio tracks on these machines were mostly mono back when they came out with this idea and they weren't really high quality so what happened was sony came up with a way to take the audio and pulse code modulated, PCM, uh, same as WAV files are. WAV files still use PCM today. And Sony made the machine that would take the audio outputs of your mixer and send them into the input on this thing, and it would mux a stereo signal onto the video track of a Betamax cassette. Hard to believe, I know. And I'm actually going to do another video later where I hook up a monitor to this because I believe I remember that you could see an audio representation or a visual representation of the music that was going on here. But here's what happens. You put this thing in and you hit play. And if you just hit play on a 
you know, with the video out to a TV or something, you're going to think you've got garbage on here. But what you're hearing is mastered down audio feeding back through this thing and out through my headphones because I don't have it hooked up to an amplifier right now. And I don't really need to. I just wanted to show what it was doing. So you can see there's the audio going out onto there and it's playing back sure as it was made 31 years ago this year. So there you have it. That's your uh, antique and arcane audio video lesson of the day. The Sony PCM F1. And this is what you ended up with. So if somebody ever tells you, hey, I've got a master that was recorded to Betamax and you think they're crazy, this is what they're talking about. It actually sounds pretty damn good considering it's a 31-year-old videotape. Uh, and it was not at all easy to put this rig together in reverse. But now that I've got that, I can actually take these tapes and I can restore them back to WAV files on the computer. So there you go. Betamax Sony PCM F1 Audio Master from 1990. Pretty cool, huh?